Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we are going to understand the aspect ratio in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. Welcome to the MBS Engineering Channel. Today, we are going to understand the aspect ratio in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. We will discuss in the detailed description given below. Point number 1. What is the aspect ratio? Point number 2. Benefits of the aspect ratio. Point number 3. Required range of the aspect ratio. Point number 4. How to calculate the aspect ratio. Before that, we understand the purpose of the ESP. An electrostatic precipitator, ESP, is a dust collecting device that removes particles from a gas stream by using electrical energy to charge particles. A high voltage system provides power to the discharge electrode to generate an electrical field. The particulate, entrained in the gas, is charged while passing through the electrical field. The particulate is then attracted to the grounded collector plate and forms a dust layer on the plate. Next, we are going to understand what the aspect ratio is in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. The aspect ratio is the ratio of the effective length of the collecting surface to the height of the collecting surface. The aspect ratio is equal to effective length in the meter divided by effective height in the meter. Next, what is the effective length, L? The effective length of the collection surface is the sum of the plate lengths in each consecutive field. Next, what is the effective height, H? The effective height is the height of the collecting plates. Next, we are going to understand the benefits of the aspect ratio in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. Point number 1. The aspect ratio is an important factor in reducing the wrapping loss. Once the particles are wrapped from the collecting plates and thus charge electrodes, a gas stream transports the dislodged dust particles through the ESP outlet until it reaches the hopper. Although the time it takes for the wrapped particles to settle in the hopper is short, only a few seconds. Point number 2. If the height of the collecting plate is more as compared to the effective length, then during wrapping, the dislodged dust particle is carried out by the gas flow before it settles in the dust hopper. So, the collection efficiency decreases. Point number 3. So, the total effective length of the plates in the ESP is larger compared to their effective height, a small amount of collected dust can be re-entrained in the gas flow, and the dust settles in the hopper effectively, and the collection efficiency increases. Next, we are going to understand the required range of the aspect ratio in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. Point number 1. The aspect ratio should be high enough to allow the wrapped particles to settle in the hopper before they are carried out of the ESP by the gas flow. Point number 2. The aspect ratio is usually greater than 1 for high efficiency ESPs. Aspect ratios of the 1.3 to 1.5 are common, but some installations, it may be around 2. Next, we are going to understand what the aspect ratio is in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. The aspect ratio is the ratio of the effective length of the collecting surface to the height of the collecting surface. The aspect ratio is equal to effective length in the meter divided by effective height in the meter, H, effective height or height of the collecting plate L, effective length, the sum of the plate lengths in each consecutive field. Please refer to the ESP schematic layout for better understanding. Next, please refer to the schematic layout H is marked in the schematic layout. H is the effective height or height of the collecting plate. Next, please refer to the schematic layout L is marked in the schematic layout and L is the effective length, the sum of the plate lengths in each consecutive field. 
It means L affecting length as equal to the sum of L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4 plus L5. Next, we are going to understand how to calculate the aspect ratio in the electrostatic precipitator, ESP. The aspect ratio is the ratio of the effective length of the collecting surface to the height of the collecting surface. The aspect ratio formula is. The aspect ratio is equal to effective length in the meter divided by effective height in the meter. H. Effective height or height of the collecting plate. L. Effective length, the sum of the plate lengths in each consecutive field. Please refer to the ESP schematic layout for better understanding. 5 consecutive fields ESP schematic layout given for better understanding. Next, please refer to the schematic layout, H is marked in the schematic layout. H is the effective height or height of the collecting plate. H. The height of the collecting plate is given as 15 meters. Next, please refer to the schematic layout L1, L2, L3, L4, and L5 as marked in the schematic layout. L is the effective length, the sum of the plate lengths in each consecutive field. It means L affecting length is equal to the sum of L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4 plus L5. Given data are. L1 is 4.2 meters. L2 is 4.2 meters. L3 is 4.2 meters. L4 is 4.2 meters. L5 is 4.2 meters. H is 15 meters. Then, the aspect ratio is equal to effective length. The sum of L1 plus L2 plus L3 plus L4 plus L5 divided by effective height, H. It means 21 meters divided by 15 meters. As per the given data, we got the aspect ratio is 1.4. The aspect ratio is usually greater than 1 for the high efficiency of the ESP. The aspect ratio should be high enough to allow the wrapped particles to settle in the hopper before they are carried out of the ESP by the gas flow. Next, I hope everyone understands the aspect ratio and benefits of the aspect ratio, the required range of the aspect ratio, and how to calculate the aspect ratio in the electrostatic precipitator. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more videos.